हेलो भिवर्स वेलकाम टू भिडियो नम्बर एट्टी अफ दि चैनल केम फिली एंड भिडियो नम्बर एट्टी इज द टोटी सेकेंड एपिसोड अफ केमिकल थार्मोडायनिक्स टपिक अफ दिस एपिसोड इज वेरिएशन अफ हिट अफ रियक्शन उथथ टेम्पारेचार दैट इज कार्स इक्वेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट Now, what is heat of reaction? Already, I have written here. It is the amount of heat evolved or absorbed when the number of moles of the substances, that means reactants, represented by the chemical equation, have completely reacted, is known as heat of reaction. Here, in this equation, you see. That is one mole of carbon, one mole of oxygen. That means twelve gram carbon, thirty two gram oxygen is giving forty four gram or one mole of carbon dioxide or forty four gram of carbon dioxide. If the reaction occurs in this way, that is twelve gram carbon reacts with thirty two gram of oxygen, then obviously forty four gram carbon dioxide will produce. and heat involved in this reaction and here heat absorbed in this reaction is 94 kilo calorie so 94 kilo calorie is the heat of this reaction okay now from first law of thermodynamics we have seen that heat absorbed at constant pressure generally all the reactions are carried out at constant pressure under constant atmospheric pressure Qp is equal to change in the enthalpy that is heat absorbed. So heat of the reaction is the change in enthalpy during the reaction, or change in enthalpy means how? So heat of reaction will be the heat of reaction is the difference in Difference in enthalpy, enthalpy of the product, product and reactant. So difference in enthalpy. That means enthalpy change during the reaction when it is reacting according to the stoichiometric equation right so heat of the reaction or change in the enthalpy during the reaction we can write it as enthalpy of the product minus enthalpy of the reactant now this heat of the reaction or change in enthalpy during the reaction or heat evolved heat absorbed or heat released during the reaction it varies with the temperature now how it varies with the temperature that is given in kirchhoff's equation now we are going to derive that so let's start say Your reactant is. We are going to derive Kirchhoff's equation. Reactant is A, and the product is B. Now enthalpy of the reactant is Hj, and enthalpy of the product B is Hb. Okay. Now heat of the reaction, that is change in enthalpy during the reaction, delta H will be the Hb minus Ha. Now differentiate. here the reaction is taking place under constant atmospheric pressure that's why it is enthalpy or total heat content differentiate with respect to temperature at constant pressure then what we are getting dol of delta h by dol t at constant pressure is equal to dol H B by dol T at constant pressure minus dol H A by dol T at constant pressure. Now we know that 
change in enthalpy with power unit change in temperature at constant pressure that is nothing but heat capacity of the gas at constant pressure. So what we can write now dole of delta H by dole T at constant pressure is equal to Cp of the product B minus Cp of the reactant A that is the change in Cp or change in heat capacity at constant pressure. Now from here I can write it as D of delta H is equal to delta Cp into dt. Now for overall change for overall change overall change for due to due to change in temperature change in temperature say from T1 to T2 then we have to integrate the equation. So here what we can write integration of D of delta H here limit is delta H1 then delta H2 is equal to delta Cp then integration of this dt from T1 to T2. So at T1 temperature heat of the reaction is delta H1. T2 temperature heat of the reaction is delta H2 and delta Cp we are considering it remains constant in this temperature range T1 to T2. So it is outside of this integration side. Now if I integrate this one then what it will be? So next line this will be is equal to this D of delta H integration of delta H that will be delta H only then your upper limit and lower limit delta H1 delta H2 is equal to delta Cp into T again upper limit lower limit and upper limit. So if I put the limit then it is delta H2 minus delta H1 is equal to delta Cp into T2 minus T1. So what we can write delta H2 minus delta H1 divided by T2 minus T1 is equal to delta Cp. So, this is your Kirchhoff's equation. So, it gives the variation of the heat of the reaction with temperature. Okay. Now, this change of heat of the reaction with per unit change in temperature because we are dividing by delta T change in temperature is equal to the change in heat capacity at constant pressure. So change in heat of the reaction or that means change in heat of the reaction change of change of heat of the reaction or change in change in enthalpy of the reaction enthalpy that means delta H either delta H2 or delta H1 depending on temperature change in enthalpy of the reaction with per unit change in temperature change in temperature is equal to equal to change in change in 
हीट कैपेसिटी हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर सो दिस इज कच ऑफ सिक्रेशन एंड दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट ओके चेंज ऑफ हीट ऑफ द रिएक्शन हाउ मच इट इज चेंजिंग डेल्टा हेच टू माइनस डेल्टा हेच वन और चेंज इन द एंथेल्पी ऑफ द रिएक्शन विथ पार यूनिट चेंज इन टेम्परेचर इज इक्वल टू द चेंज इन हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर नाउ इफ द रिएक्शन ऑकर्स एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम सो हियर इफ इट ऑकर्स एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम मीन्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट लॉ वी नो दैट दिस क्यू वी कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम हीट एब्सॉर्ब एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा ई प्लस पी डेल्टा वी बट डेल्टा वी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो क्यू वी इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा ई सो हीट एब्सॉर्ब और हीट रिलीज एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू द चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी सो इन दैट केस हीट ऑफ द रिएक्शन हाउ वी कैन राइट वी कैन राइट इट एज से अवर रिएक्टेंट इज ए प्रोडक्ट इज बी देन एंथलपी सॉरी इंटरनल एनर्जी हीट ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज इक्वल टू द इंटरनल चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम ओके so heat absorbed at constant volume is equal to the change in the internal energy so here internal energy of the reactant is e1 and the product is e2 so change in internal energy delta e will be is equal to e2 minus e1 that is the heat of the reaction or change in internal energy at constant volume so now now as usual differentiating with respect to temperature differentiating with respect to temperature at constant volume so del of delta e by del t then at constant volume is equal to del e2 by del t at constant volume minus del e1 by del t at constant volume so here we can write it as dol of delta e by dol t at constant volume is equal to we know that dol e by dol t change in internal energy with respect to temperature at constant volume is equal to cv so it is cv of this reactant sorry product minus cv of the reactant okay so and that is is equal to this is separate delta cv so what we can write from here d of delta e is equal to delta cv into dt so now if we integrate the equation within the limit delta e1 like earlier one delta e2 then here t1 to t2 considering this cv is constant within the temperature range t1 to t2 then what we are getting we are getting integration will be delta e upper limit minus lower limit that means e2 minus e1 will be is equal to delta cv t2 minus t1 so what we can write e2 minus e1 divided by t2 minus t1 is equal to delta cv so 
this heat of the reaction at constant volume or change of this internal energy at constant volume during the reaction that is sorry here it will be delta sorry i forgot to write delta so delta delta so change in the heat of the reaction at constant volume with per unit change in temperature will be is equal to change in the heat capacity at constant volume okay so this is your kirchhoff's equation for heat of the reaction change in heat of the reaction with temperature at constant volume and earlier one is at constant pressure hope you have understood thank you